All right, well, we're looking here at how to solve simultaneous equations using the graphics calculator. The first thing we need with the graphics calculator, we're going to go to the uh, Y editor just here. So I switch it on and go to the Y editor. Now, when we go to the Y editor, we need to, first of all, put our equation here into the form of Y equals MX plus C, that particular form. So let's do that now. So this one here, 7x plus 8y equals 9. We need to rearrange that. So taking 7x from both sides, we end up with 8y equals minus 7x plus 9. Dividing both sides by 8, we end up with y equals minus 7 eighths x plus 9 over 8. Not very nice, but since we're using the calculator, it doesn't matter. Let's plug, plug that into the equation now. So we have minus 7x divided by 8. So that's your minus 7x over 8. And it's plus 9 over 8. We don't have to put them as a fraction. It's perfectly OK to just write 9 divided by 8. Enter. So there's our first equation. Notice that recognized it as a, a fraction. All right, the second one uh, is... Uh, 3x minus 11y equals 12. It's our second equation here. And so rearranging, I've got a negative this side, so I'll put that over the other side. So I've got uh, 3x. Um, well, I can put the 12 at the same time, can't I? And take that over, makes that a minus 12. And there's your plus 11, 11y. Dividing through now everything by 11. Gives me 3x over 11 minus 12 over 11, and that equals y. doesn't matter which end I put the y. Normally I put it the other side, of course. So here I'm going to put my second equation. Uh, so it's 3 divided by 11 x minus 12 divided by 11, and enter. And there's my second equation. Quick check to make sure I got them right. Minus 7x over 8, plus not yes, that's okay. 3 over 11x minus 12 over 11y. Yep, looks good. All right, so there's my two equations entered. Now I'll graph them. So I press my green button and the graph function. Just wait a moment. Okay, there it goes. There's my intersection. How am I going to find what that is? Well, we go to F5, and notice there is the intersection choice. So I'll choose number 5. I can either move down or just press 5 down here. Now it asks me which, the cur which of the curves that you're going to find the intersection with. So, <coughs> excuse me, there's the first curve. So I say, yep, and it's automatically found the second curve. Enter. So there's my two curves. Now I need to find the x values below the intersection and above. So I'll just make sure this one is below the intersection. Yes, it is. Enter. And now I need to just go anywhere above the intersection. And it's going to find where they intersect in between those two numbers. So I'll choose Enter. It'll say busy, and there's my answers. So it's at x equals 1.93 and so on. Pretty horrible. But you'd expect it to be horrible because you ended up with these horrible 7 eighths and 3 elevenths, and the other one is minus 0.56. So that's how you find the intersection of two lines using a calculator.